Hello, chat. What is up, my friends? How are you guys doing? So, I have a mild concern. I've had Avermedia open for like 40 minutes because I wanted to go ahead and just preemptively crash before I started streaming and trying to do a run. But it hasn't done it yet. And then admittedly, over the whole weekend, it never did end up actually crashing. So it's totally possible that it's just not gonna crash. But that's like possible. <laughs> Likely is not the word I would put down there. Possible is definitely the word I'm gonna go ahead and stick with. How you guys doing? Welcome to our That's hot. fucking teamwork! EST EU friendly Wednesday streams Sugar Raven Seven months in a row You with the shiniest squidling Thank you for your over, ha over half a year of support in the squiddy pool You with the shiniest squidling That's fucking teamwork! I'm glad you enjoyed the content You're not actually the shiniest squidling Cause True Demon 28 months in a row. I have a button. I'm gonna push it. You with the shiniest squidling. Thank you both for your support. Glad you're enjoying the content, my friends. So. Damn, damn. My jeans are trying to eat my balls. There we go. All right, so. Here is the plan. We're gonna do us a run of the Mario. Seeing as I just sat down after getting up in the morning to play this video game, it's probably going to be just atrociously terrible, is my assumption. Uh, because you, you gotta get a little bit of that hot warm-up action going. So this is probably gonna be super duper trash. But that's okay. That's not the end of the world. We take trash. It's really more for just the practice than for actually putting up any sort of a time. But we run one of these. And then we're gonna just kind of hang out and vegetate, uh, do some practice in a couple areas, figure out where I need to work on shit. I might try Voltron a couple times just to see if I can get a little better at staying on top of this big dumb robot. Apparently trying to center the camera behind you makes it a lot easier, but I tried doing it last night and it, I don't understand how. Because you don't seem to be able to center the camera behind you. So I'm not sure what's up with that. That button doesn't seem to work while you're being launched off of Voltron. But I'll figure it out. And then, all things willing, we play Pathfinder. Now, there is some amount of a chance that instead of playing Pathfinder, we don't play Pathfinder. I really hope that doesn't happen because oh shit I didn't do my clip today today holy fuck hold on I need to consult yeah, fuck it I'll do it afterward I fucked up I'll do it on my first break is what I'll do I'll go find the clip of the day and whatnot first break because I forgot to put it in the discord chat I was setting up pathfinder shit just to be sure we'd already we'd all be ready and I totally fucking spaced that so the problem is there is some not zero and not horrifically low chance that we don't play Pathfinder today. Which would make me just super duper sad on my inside parts. But it happens sometimes because we are 100% not going to have Zender today. That's a, that's a for sure. We're not going to have Zender today. We are possibly not gonna have Mancha. Let me see what he told me. I don't know if he told me he isn't gonna be here. He might not be here. He said he might not, so we don't know about Mancha. And I feel like Shenmue is always at least a little bit up in the air. We always live the Shenmue 36 dream, but it is very much the Shenmue 36 dream. Not the Shenmue 36 guaranteed reality. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, we're doing some uh, 
some Pathfinder, because I'm gonna be more than a little bit sad if we aren't, because fucking goddammit, it's Wednesday, and I wanna play some goddamn Pathfinder, that's the whole point of Wednesdays. So I tried, I didn't try it, actually, I, I did a little bit of off-stream Mario's practice yesterday, just, uh, for the couple of the harder jumps, and I tried for shits doing that thing in the Wooded Kingdom, how I do the, the long jump and then triple jump off the railing, Doing the thing where you just spawn at the moon and you do just like what you would do for the Sphinx Slip. You stomp and roll and cancel immediately and just fucking turn around and use all the speed from that roller triple jump off the railing. And that's not as hard as it looks like it is. Uh, it's definitely hard. I got it four or five times, but that was out of like 30 or 40 tries so it's i can't do it at any semblance of consistent but getting it occasionally isn't nearly as hard as actually clipping through the sphinx wall because it's like sphinx clip but with way less specificity because sphinx clip you have to do that roll cancel literally instantly this one you just kind of have to roll cancel and then roll at some point and then wheel yourself around and hit the railing why well, is the game in Japanese? Because it turns out uh, that says start game or new game. Either way, new game is seven letters and start game is nine letters. And that is four kanji. So that's a lot less text right there. That might even say normal mode, which is ten letters. Regardless of what the fuck that says, that's way less letters than it is in English. Whatever that word phrase actually is i'm not positive i'm actually not 100 percent what that says but it's more than four letters i'll tell you that this quiz finally came out as a chance representative weave yep you got me we just weave it i don't know why my house is exploding i don't know if you can hear that disregard the exploding house it's not important okie dokie this is gonna be super awful because I just fucking sat down and I ain't touched this shit today. So this is gonna and I my runs are already super awful anyway just by default. So this is gonna be some next level bad. That's all right though. It's practice. That's pretty okay actually. So far, everything went better than expected. What the fuck? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I was looking for. That's not what I was looking for. Dive, you dumb idiot. Dive. 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 Okay, for some reason he has like a... I don't think he can dive while he's catching the hat. Is what that is. Because that's happened to me a couple times. And I think it's how close I am to the thing. Okay, well, that's not the frog we usually grab. Oh, it puts you on the front frog anyway. Okay. So, good to know it doesn't actually matter what frog you capture. You get that frog regardless. It's the illusion of choice. There is only actually one frog. On today's episode of Walking in a Straight Line, Squidish catastrophically fails the frog sobriety test and just jumps all over the fucking lake. I know you, you can't like spam roll right there because you'll just slam the wall. You have to like somewhat lightly roll. Lightly roll. Cease. Cease! Was that one Mario game I was playing for a while? Rabbids Invasion? It's literally called Mario X Rabbids. Kingdom, uh, Kingdom Battle is the subtext, I believe. Two characters six plus time in text box. Yeah, and, and in some cases, actually just less text boxes total. That's pretty unlikely, but it depends. It does say, it just saves you like 15 seconds over the course of the game to have less text. 3.7 seconds of shitting my pants as a frog. Hey, Milker, sorry. What is up? Oh, 
stupid. Or, or, or throw the hat. Throw the hat's an option. But I mean, if you really want to, I guess you could just not. I've never not bonked right there. I think that's, how many runs have I done? Eight total? That's eight consecutive times I've missed that moon and bonked on the wall behind it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Absolutely nothing I do will grab that moon. I could walk up to it slowly, stand under it, and jump it, and I would still just get siphoned forward to bonk off that wall. No matter what I do, I bonk that wall. 100% of the time. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah, this is trash. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's not what I wanted at all. That's, I don't know what the hell, my, my brain's literally just like not on. I'm just doing movement. Maybe an Odyssey run before Pathfinder isn't perfect. I thought it'd be super great because it's like, look, I have exactly this much time. Like I have exactly an Odyssey run amount of time before Pathfinder. Clearly this is a good idea. Maybe it's actually not. Because it turns out you pretty much have to do a warm-up run. You have to warm up or your run is actually just useless. I need to figure out the distance in which this fucker goes flying. It's approximately there. Alright, so it gave me like two seconds not waiting for him to pull back and lost four or five seconds because I was stuck on the edge with just barely not enough for him to, uh, to dive. So that was a slow fight, even though I got the quick jump. Is it 2x Yoshi because you could jump boost off of it? I mean, basically. I don't know why I'm even timing this, honestly. This is kind of just a run through to practice the movement and whatnot, but it's like might as well turn the time around. There's no reason not to. But the T-Rex is... I was going to say it's the closest thing to Yoshi you get in this game. But no, there is actually Yoshi in this game. I almost just totally forgot because you don't see him in this run at all. I forgot he actually is also here. Yes, Cappy. That's great. Get on my head, please. Hot. So this is real bad. Yep, super bad. Ugh. 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 <laughs> I'm actually gonna restart. I'm actually just gonna restart entirely. Because we, uh, this is... I, uh, I have fingers on my hands now. I touched a controller a couple of times to push some buttons. Uh, my hands should now possess fingers. Should be able to actually do a run now. And every part of that sucked. <laughs> that was gonna be like a 20 second loss coming out of Cascade Kingdom. It's like, why even bother? Which again, I don't know why I'm running the timer. Because I'm not warmed up. I'm just gonna do the points to do one run before Pathfinder. Having a timer on is not gonna help me with that. It's just gonna make me want to reset. Move, mouse. Go live somewhere else. You're not a part of this. Alright. I like to hit Cappy with that dive. Okay, I'm gonna give this a second. There we go. And I hit the tiny fucking three pixel lamp. I don't see a universe where I don't bonk off the railing here. Well, that one. Just gotta do a sick fucking Tony Hawk grind. Well, we're good to go. There we go. Problem solved. Hot.
Froggity, froggity, froggity. All right, froggity. Let's go. There we go. I have no idea how I was so weirdly off target. It took me three jumps to get up there last run. Ooh, nice butt stomp. That saved a lot of... Ooh, hot. Mmm, saving. Oh, look all that time we're saving. Just bonking on stuff and butt stomping for no reason. That was pretty okay, though. Now, if I actually get the uh, quick kill on King Leprechaun here... Coin. That's pretty okay. We take those. Alright. Off! Into the distance we go. This clearly, I mean, that, I guess that is Cat Kingdom. It looks like a city on the horizon. It doesn't look like waterfalls and mountains and shit, but I mean, I guess it is. I guess it is. Is that a glod? Is that a glod we have there? No. That's actually just sort of okay. It would have been a glod if I hadn't just, like, shit my pants and bonked seven times for no reason. To sheer magnitude of reset, Cap Kingdom is the only one where I have any kind of a decent time. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. I didn't even block off the little wall. That's what I'm talking about right there. Anyways, yeah, minus 0.4 seconds is minus 0.4 seconds. We start with the green. We take those. Hot green action. I never noticed the double rainbow next to the waterfall before. Because I was really busy just mashing the skip button. Ah, disgusting trash! I lost all my momentum. I didn't start jumping soon enough after I came out of the roll. There we go. That's someone before. See? See, I have played this game before. Oh, and that's what happens when you ever feel good about something. If you ever feel good about anything you do in your life, you're just gonna get shit on. Just gonna never feel good about anything. Never let yourself feel good about something. Never let yourself feel good about anything. Don't do it, it's a trap. There's a fucking slow ass way. And, all right, that's a restart. That's very clearly a restart. All right, well, let's do that again. Let's do that again. So, don't really have any room to restart anymore, or it's gonna bleed into Pathfinder time. So we gotta, we gotta get a run going here. We, if I had to restart more another time than another time or two, we're just gonna have to do practice for an hour and a half because I'm not gonna have time for a run. So we gotta stop literally eating trash. I have to take all the garbage out of my mouth and put it back in the dumpster where it goes. Because I'm just inhaling copious amounts of just trash fluid right now. That needs to stop very rapidly. Spicy. Spicy minus three seconds. Nice random hat throw. That's it. Catching your hat cancels your dive. That's what it is. 
Okay, so if I'm diving right over the switch, it's gonna get canceled every time. That's a hundred percent what it is. On the door frame. Oh, we're at like a minus four right now. Oh, that just turned into a minus six. Minus seven. Minus nine. Ah, let's just restart this. Let's just restart this. If we're gonna restart, we might as well do it early. We might as well do it early. Get it out of the way. Get us on a run that's not doo doo butter. Alright, we can do this. Come on. I have hands. I swear to God, I didn't surgically replace my hands with ping pong paddles. I have actual hands with 10 entire fingers on them. And I have a controller with buttons and joysticks. And by their powers combined, I can do anything that makes sense. Maybe. Maybe I can. Maybe this is just going to be an hour and a half of Cap Kingdom practice. We'll see. Because it's, it's looking like an hour and a half of Cap Kingdom practice. <laughs> That's a weird angle. Wasn't great, but that was alright. I had to stop him, I had to stop again. Oh, this is the worst movement America's ever fucking seen. Oh, and it got worse. And it got worse. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna like phase through the bridge, am I? Okay, better. Better. What's up, Magic? How you doing? If I fuck up absolutely anything else in this Cap Kingdom, I'm resetting. This is already trash. If I fuck up absolutely any tiny thing in the rest of Cap... Okay, that's reset. Any, any fragment of this, I'm resetting. All right, let's go. Guessing Japanese text is faster for some stuff. Yes, it saves you like 15 seconds over the course of the run. Oh, I'm already not that. This one. Okay. We can do this. We can get through the Cap Kingdom. We can do it. I know we can do it. I we've done it many, many times. We can get through the Cap Kingdom. I know I can. I believe in me. I Believe it or not, I have gotten through the Cap Kingdom before. Many, many times, actually. All, like six of them. And I've done it without losing upwards of five seconds to just dumb garbage. I know we can do it. I know we can get through the Cap Kingdom. It's a 100% it's a true fact, believe it or not. It can be done. There is an, an actually an entire another game after the Cap Kingdom. There's there's a whole like hour and twenty minutes worth of game for me after the Cap Kingdom. We just have to believe in it. We have to believe that it's really there. That has to be the quicker way to reset. That's what you're wrong, kiddo. Why would a Super Mario game have a quick reset button? Even if Nintendo specifically designed a game for speedrunning, they still wouldn't have a quick reset button because they're Nintendo. Okay, shaky, 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 shaky. Let go right when you get off the hill. A little before you get off the hill, actually. Just a little bit before you get off the hill is what we're looking for. 
If this game didn't autosave, you'd be able to restart much faster. But ironically, the quality of modern autosaving technology is what makes the restart so long. Because by the time you are through the first cutscene, there is already an autosave for you. And you have to go delete that to make space to start a new run. I don't know why I'm bothering to reset. This is going to be a crappy run just because it's the first go of the day. This isn't going to amount to anything anyway. If it gets to 240, I won't reset after 240. We will just literally accept whatever shit ass happens to us. I have done that four times in a row? I'm... I'm somehow... Absorbing... A bad habit I've never done before. Because I've never... I've never had that happen, and it just happened three or four times in a row now. So I don't know where I picked this up or how I got it. But I'm in some way... Inhaling an absolutely terrible habit... From an unknown, unidentifiable source. Because again, I've, I've definitely never done that before. Cool, let's just lose two seconds on skipping a cutscene. That's a good way to start. I need a mark. I need a mark for when to stop this roll. The problem is since you roll through all these weird little hills, I'm not going to hit an exact mark consistently because the hills affect where you roll. And I was super off the side. But I need some sort of a point. I have no idea how I turned around. I, I couldn't do that if I wanted to. I don't... I have no clue how to just quickly turn around to roll. I don't know how I did that. I, I didn't... I was not aware that was a function of the controls in this game. I... The whole point of rolling is you can't turn it quickly. I have no idea how he just, like, stopped and fucking turned around in a dime like that. That would be incredibly useful if I knew how to do that on command. <laughs> I just want to get literally on the bridge. I want to get past the first jump of the whole game without fucking four seconds out of myself by hitting the wall or screwing up colossally badly somehow. If I can get on the bridge, I won't reset. But I haven't gotten on the bridge in four or five runs. If I can get on the bridge, I won't reset. So close. So close to on the bridge. We were just, just almost there. Right on the verge of success. I just want to get on the bridge. All I have to do is the first jump of the whole game without colossal failure. And we'll do a whole run. I will do the entire run no matter how bad the rest of anything is. If I can just get past the first jump of the game. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking is for the very first time that I press the B button. Oh, okay, okay, this is technically the first time you press the B button. Let's just do this. The very first time you press the B button and actually jump, I want it to be at least almost acceptable. That's, that's all I'm after. Thank you. Okay. Entire run. Let's go. The jumping and diving there makes me ground pound because I grab my hand, so I guess I just roll. I'm going to spend a pretty big chunk of tomorrow actually getting some proper movement. Oh, that was really good. That's the first fucking good thing I've done all day. Frog. Fuck! 
There. My hat is literally just bouncing off this frog, and I don't know why. That's happened every single run I've gotten to him today. It's just fucking hit the frog and bounced off and done nothing. And I don't know why. I don't know what's causing that. Measured shaker. Give me your bones. You small little green pile of trash. Okay. I'll talk about beer counts. See, you see, we could just start our run with the gold. That's all we got to do. All we got to do is just start with a fucking beautiful split. How hard is that? Very apparently, but uh, but we did it. Launch please, fucking, okay, A, he like lagged out. And just sat there for like a full second. Why is he lagging so bad? Launch! You stupid retard. Alright, then we immediately lost it in Cascade Kingdom. Like the, the instant we hit Cascade Kingdom, we lost those two seconds. And then like three more. Instantaneously lost all that time. But we started with a gold split. And that's all that mattered. And we were, uh, we were ahead for almost 30 whole seconds before I fucked up. Roll, you dumb idiot. There we go. That's the movement we're looking for. That's the triple jump with the go fast. Alright, it is dinosaur. Let's go. Go on adventure, my boy. That's not gonna be a trampoline. Um, can I make this work? Nope. I said I wasn't going to, but that was that was so just catastrophically bad that uh that's kind of a mandatory reset there. There's not I kinda have to. That's like a 20, 25 second loss, because I have to go all the way back around and get the T-Rex. That's, that's a catastrophically massive loss. I didn't know that you could hit it with your right foot. I actually thought that if you were walking that, uh, if you were walking around the thing counterclockwise, you couldn't possibly get your right foot hitbox onto the trampoline. But it turns out you actually can. I went way too far off the right side of that thing when I stepped down. I don't, I still don't know why there's just explosions outside my house. I can only imagine we're being bombed by North Korea. I hope so. Please, God, just kill me. Take me away from my infinite suffering. Um, what's this giant fucking fog bank doing here? Oh, that sucks. I couldn't see my mark because there was a giant fog roll. That's never happened before. What the shit? That's the weirdest little bit of apparently RNG I've seen in this game so far. You can apparently roll a hard one and there's just a huge ball of fog. So you can't see the code or anything. You just gotta kinda guess when it starts jumping. I guess that's something that can happen. See? You still learn from rapid resets. You learn lots of things. Because we reset a whole bunch of times, then we got a gold split on Cap Kingdom, so you definitely learned something. Uh, 
Apparently the game can just decide to fuck you with the fog just staying there. See, because it's supposed to just go down like that. But it can just say, get fucked, idiot. You didn't need those eyes, did you? See, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay, I don't even care anymore. We'll take red. Red me. Alright, I care. That's too much. That's too much. Can't, can't take both. I'll take fuck off the bridge or bonk in the lamp. I ain't gonna take both. That's that's a fucking up every step of the process kind of run. Nah. Nah. Ain't about that life. Okay, if it's 250, I won't reset anymore. Because then we'll finish the run a little after 3 and Let's be honest, we never start Pathfinder right at 3 anyway. We literally never start Pathfinder just right at 3. Or 4, rather. So if it hits 250, I'll stop resetting. Stop poking my butt, you weirdo. You kind of start the game getting molested by a hat. It's a little weird. All right, see, that's acceptable. That's not good, but that's totally acceptable. Can I get through here? Um, I wasn't aware there was a part of Mario's role where he's just supermaning right above the ground. That was weird. That was a weird little. I guess that's what the boost looks like. Ah, oh, fuck me. That was a weird little frame to phrase on. On today's episode of Things Have Been Better. Things Have Been Better. Excuse me, Goombas. Oh, this is gonna be a pretty bad little frog sec. Eh. You kinda gotta jump twice to want to regard this. Well, dough in it. So we're looking at about a 251, probably. Oh, yeah, it's 251 Cap Kingdom. So you lost about five seconds to fucking up that half bounce. Okay, I ain't resetting. I ain't resetting. I don't give a shit what happens. We ain't resetting. That wasn't nearly as bad. Wow, what? Eh, 244 actually. Well, loud 245. Apparently the rest of that was actually okay movement. I don't know how, I don't know in what universe. The universe where I'm running, apparently. That's the best part about having shit movement. You can totally fuck stuff up. And still have green because you're just bad. <laughs> you have to fuck up really badly to get red splits. Alright, not resetting. I don't give a shit what happens. I'm serious this time. I don't give a fuck what happens. I want to do the railing jump in Woodland Kingdom. I don't care if I die seven times in a row. We are not resetting because we got to play Pathfinder an hour. So there are no resets here, my friends. No resets. Just do it. Just all we gotta do is beat the game. What if instead of all this crap I'm doing, I just beat the game? <laughs> Have you guys considered a world in which instead of sucking every dick known to man, we just we just did. We just won. 
Okay, I go like right across that big blockish. Yeah! Take me! Never be steady. <laughs> it doesn't save time if you then proceed to fall on the chain shot. It turns out, it actually just makes everything really slow. Give me your business. I'm starting to get more used to that though. Like where it actually stops. I'm surprised. I feel like Nintendo's Nintendo's growing up. I think they're starting to accept speedrunning and crazy bullshit in their game. Because between seriously just explosions outside, between uh all the massive stacks of coins they have hidden on top of various really, really hard to access rooftops. And mechanics like the fact that you can jump on the chain shop to stop its spin. Why would they have added that if they don't want you to super quick kill these bosses? They gave you the data management menu. Which although... Jake did just say it has to be a quick way to reset and there's definitely not. The fact that that menu even exists... It's very not Nintendo. So, I think some small part of Nintendo actually wants speedruns to happen. It is a very small part, but it's there. It's alive. It's real. Oh, yeah. There's, a, there's three cutscenes on this one. I was like, wow, we're actually going to green even fucking up the thing, but nah. Because there's the third cutscene. This one has the extra cutscene for the thing turning on in the first place. So it'll be like five seconds red. 4.2. Just a whole bunch of mechanics like that like you can quick kill every single boss in a way that very much had to well other than bowser well even bowser kind of bowser's only a little bit questionable one but in a way that had to be intentionally coded like all the brutals the fact that you can jump on their hats the fact that you can launch the bomb back up into harriet's crazy ufo hat and knock her back down the fact that all those things exist some small part of Nintendo is starting to realize that no matter what they do, people are going to do whatever the fuck they want with their goddamn game. And what they want in a lot of cases is speedrunning. Could also just be an homage to, uh... I don't know what the fuck they were called back in the day. The, uh... Super Mario World 3 mini bosses. Little, the weird little Mr. F Mr. Fister Turtles. Surely they have a name, but I don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> the ones you fight in every, like, subcastle in Mario World 3. That, though throughout the game, they get different mechanics like wings and shooting fireballs and shit. None of it ever matters because as soon as they come out of their little spiky shell from getting hit once, you can immediately hit them again in all situations. That's kind of how the Brutals are. Drop you, Dingus. Move. Give to me. Thank you. The music in there is so great. I love the shop music. It makes me happy. I love the fact that the outer area of those readers has no music at all and it's just a silent abyss of sand in every direction. All right, magnetic cactus. Holy shit, I did it. Oh my god, I'm so cool! Love the names of the checkpoints. Oh, 
Don't mind me, just stealing your moons. Just pop in the back room to steal their stock. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Immediate failure. <laughs> Put it inside me. Get a little bit of a sinking done early. No, oh, no, you just, you just can't dive here. You will balk 100 times out of 100. There is, that is a. That's what we call a guaranteed bonkaroo. Ah, the Sphinx is over here, actually. That wasn't at all the direction I wanted to roll. And also, I'm really weirdly off to the side. So I'm just gonna long jump this, because if I roll, I'm gonna bonk super hard. Grab the moon. There we go. Well, we got a ridiculous amount of coins out of that, so... Coins are not gonna be an issue at any point ever. Not to imply they are anyway, but... Oh my god, the center camera button is amazing. Holy shit, I can't believe I didn't know this existed. For not only 100% of my casual playthrough, but also a decent chunk of me learning to speedrun, I had no idea that was a button. That's insane. Center camera. This is gonna be life changing. Alright, so. We're here for practice, boys, right? Why don't we try to do this proper, like... Oh my god. I caught the bullet. And then I hit the wall. Rip all that time. And we effectively had the way for the next bullet anyway. <laughs> Good job, idiot! I didn't catch on the wall. He... You all saw it. You all watched him just kind of fall and not actually grab or make any attempt to wall jump. Just, just sort of fell. Not really sure why that happened actually. That is an issue I have not had before. I'm not, it might just might not have hit the right spot on the wall, I guess. Okay, cool. Dense neutron packet to the left side of that ice. Maybe I should move the cactus a little bit before I hop out. Yeah, I got totally scammed. He just did not grab the wall. He just stared at it as he fell to him. De fell to his death. Like, huh? That's a neat wall we got there. All right. So, okay, I'm pretty sure in this PB spot I also died to a Jaxi skip, didn't I? So I don't think we actually really lose anything there. And that was a generally okay Toast Arena otherwise. Like, no, that went super great, but that PB I also died in Jaxi skip because for some reason, although I did that four or five runs in a row, now I'm suddenly dying on Jaxi skip every run. This ham loaf I made is so moist and delicious. Moist. The moist ham loaf. Yeah, pretty good. Definitely not gold. But, uh, yeah, we definitely fucked up this raider real bad in this PB. To the Lack Kingdom, away! We're going to go do a swimming now. I don't look crazy as being a moist. Moist hams. That's the opposite of a craigasm. That's a what face. Never describe your food as just moist. God, that word's disgusting. Why is moist such a gross word, chat? Help me understand. Who invented the word moist and was like, you know what? This is a good word. What we should do to describe food. Yeah. 
Oh shit. Alright. We'll just do a slow backup jump, I suppose. Better than falling. Categorically better than falling. I don't suck at these coins anyway. I didn't need that money anyway. I don't like money. Money's stupid. Fuck money. Why is it better than being dry? Is it though? Is it? Hey! Is it? I bonk on Dory. You can bonk on Dory. <laughs> Dory is a solid enough object for that. Turns out you can bonk on Dory. Let's do it. Let's do it, boys. Oh, nice little bout of crippling autism at the end there. I almost had it, and then my shit fingers are just like, wait, hold on. This isn't okay. You're up. You need to slow your fucking roll, son. That is way too much happening right now. On today's episode of Overthinking, we have that entire section. Ah, that was kind of poopy, but okay. A little bit of a little bit poopy. A little bit of a poop stain on my face on that one, actually. We lost what I would say is half that 16 second lead, maybe? It's so hard. I'm not going to predict I'm going to be on times yet. Because there's just so much cutscene and warping and stuff in this game. It's actually insane. You know the soft part of the vegetable is sometimes called the patient. <laughs> no, shut up and stop. I actually might have lost that entire lead. We might just be behind now. No. I'm sticking with half of it. I'm sticking with my original call. We lost half that lead. Crazy how much this game is cutscenes. Eh, lost three seconds that lead actually, so not quite half. Almost half of half actually. Did I not make the uh, cool guy jump in my PB run either? Maybe I didn't. Maybe I also failed the cool guy jump over there. All right, so here we're gonna fall off the railing four times because again I'm just here to practice. If we get a PB, cool, but. Just trying to practice. Still not really shooting for time improvements, I just... Playing with Shadow Zero. I just... Want to learn. That's a good idea. That's a little just backflip right there. <laughs> ah, I okay. That was, that was a really cool bunny, and then I just fucking threw everything at the trash. Oh, I hate myself. No! It finally happened. My irrational fear of clicking on the life heart. Saves like two seconds as long as you notice you clicked on the life heart. If you somehow don't notice you clicked on the life heart and actually buy the life heart, it probably wastes a good deal more time than that. Oh shit. Well, that somehow worked out. And then box. <laughs> that was actually really, a really cool backup strap for like three seconds there. I was a real cool guy. And there it goes. Now I'm just back in the dumpster where I belong. Mmm, hot garbage action. I fucking hate this jump. I hate it so fucking much. Mmm. This ain't going well. This is not going fantastically. All that matters, to be fair. 
while I'm learning Woodland Kingdom, 100% of what matters is how many times I die turning to the railing jump. Everything else is a largely irrelevant time statistic. Hey, hey. Imagine a world where you load into this and you literally just hold right. You just hold right. Imagine a world where that was all I had to do the whole time. Was just fucking hold right. And I'll take a, a shot there, that's fine. And then I can just swim through these guys. Um, hello? Hello? Come out of the water, please. Thank you. We're not swimming anymore. Thank you. Hello? Okay. I think that was the second time didn't actually do damage. It just stunned me. I don't know what caused that, but that's super weird. Come here, my little cabbage man. Woo! Cabbage! I always fucking slide down that wall every goddamn time. Okay, so I actually don't need this checkpoint because killing this big flower thing is a checkpoint. Skills me. And. That was almost run over. That was the closest we've come to run over. I mean, run would still be going because. Again, Pathfinder, but uh. Alright, I guess just skip the jumping part. Uh, I have not not fallen. Uh, runs. Consecutive runs where I've fallen into the cabbage pit. Three. It's been three runs since I haven't fallen into that cabbage pit. Oh, this percent went literally never. That will never happen. I will never not bonk in an entire run. All right, how many tries? I'm guessing four. Four tries, because I got shit fingers. There's one. I think it took me three in my PB. Three tries. All right, there's 1.5. Two? Nope. There's two. Still Sigma four. Still think it's gonna be four. I'm gonna miss the railing on this one. I'm gonna overshoot the railing and the fourth one I'll hit it. Sticking with four. Stick with the prediction. There's another half. Yep, exactly. There's three. And now four. Mm, oh, four! Hey, I'm the best! It's almost as if I know how good I am at stuff. Because I'm the one who's doing it. It was exactly on point. And then we're going to lose 50 seconds on this split, is my guess. Entirely depends if I somehow miss this shot, though. I'm guessing we lose 50 seconds on this split. Nice throw. Nice jump. Nice secondary jump. Nice cutscene. I'm gonna lose a minute and four on this split. That's my guess.
Let's do that consistently now, so we got that at least. Lose a minute and eight on this split. No, because I did still die three times on the uh, the PD run. Next campaign is gonna be Starfinder. Rider to think chance. Yeah, like 50 seconds it's not gonna be quite a minute I'm gonna lose about 50 seconds on this split yeah. no, I might have been right I might have been right we'll see let's just see where this ends up you still jimming for Starfinder? Yeah, that's the plan, yeah. Wednesdays are just... No, no, I was right about... That was really close, actually. I was almost on the money. I said I was going to lose a minute and eight. I lost a minute and three. I was five seconds off. I was I was real close to right. Lost a minute and three on that split. The Wednesday streams will always be me as GM. That's what the Wednesday streams are. They are my Pathfinder campaign. Unless we're doing like a one shot or something, or like a tiny little brief intermission. Nobody else is going to be GMing in my Pathfinder streaming time slot. I'm gonna lose. Nine seconds there. Not from that mistake or anything, I'm just guessing that's where I'm gonna be. I'm guessing I'm gonna lose nine seconds. That was like five. Oh, there's like eight. Think I got it. Think I was around the money. I think we're losing right about nine seconds. Yep. Uh, might be more actually. Maybe 14. Uh, we'll see if I, I... I've fucked it up almost as much as it's physically possible to fuck up. The question is, can I fuck it up as much as it's physically possible to fuck up? Ooh. Can we invent new levels of fucking up? We invented new grades of fucking up. That's never happened before. Oh! We didn't just fuck it up as much as physically possible. We invented an entirely new tier of fucking it up. That I'd never even, like, I, my imagination is too small. You can fuck this up in ways you wouldn't believe. Now we're gonna add, uh, 40 seconds on this. Nah, 27. Uh, I'm not gonna turn the splits off actually, and we're just gonna we're just gonna continue the rest of this, the practice run because uh, this is this is clearly a dead run. So this is no longer a run. This is just practice now. Uh, Zendern, there's no conceivable way Zendern has the time to uh, actually GM. With his school, yeah, and uh, Larkin, I mean, not talking shit or anything, just being realistic, Larkin would never put in the effort to, uh, to GM a campaign. And in the group, I don't think anyone else would want to. Okay, how do I stop that from happening? What causes that to happen, and how do I stop that from happening? What causes that to happen... 
Is spinning the cap this way and getting too close to the door? I think. I don't know. I can't even replicate that. That's happened to me two runs in a row. And I don't know what makes it happen. I truly don't understand what causes that. Sometimes the cap gets just straight up hard stuck outside. Like, I literally can't replicate it. Maybe I'm just getting... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's if I... If I get it to just go exactly out the door. So the safest way to do that... Is probably just to spin it the other direction? There's no way... That, that works better with the spread of the room anyway. Because how the flowers are laid out. Yeah, I, want, I definitely want to spin that left. Spinning that left will be much safer regardless. If you the system, might change literally at all. Because everybody else wants Starfinder. Oh, that's a, the most random fucking death I've ever had. Oh, that's not a death. That's just a reset, I think. This would uh, this would straight up be a reset. I don't even know how to recover from this. But it's, it's unfathomable that could happen. So it's not really a concern. Like, planning for something that's just... Un yeah, okay, I got clapped out. Planning for something that's a totally unrealistic level of fucking up isn't worth doing for. That's... It's actually unreasonable that could happen. That, that would never happen. So I don't need a backup strap for that. And if that did happen, I would immediately reset the run anyway. Okay, well, now this is practice. Why even bother doing this? Why not just practice stuff I need to practice? Because this, this run's dead now, so... Let's go... The stuff I actually need to work on. And not just whatever random shit's happening right now. Let's go try to science out Voltron. I need to get this Voltron motherfucker to a higher tier of consistency. It's not aware Shemu Chan Joe wants Starfinder real bad too. Uh, Mancha is the only person who doesn't want it. It's just me and Mancha. Oh, this save doesn't have the brutals. Fuck, I thought I was gonna get the practice everybody. Oh well. It's me and Mancha don't want Starfinder. Everybody else does. Uh, Larkin and Zendern. Zendern wants it, like, to the exclusion of all else. Zendern only really wants Starfinder. Larkin only wants Starfinder or a Pathfinder homebrew. He doesn't want to play a Pathfinder AP anymore. Shemu will probably just play whatever we say we're playing, honestly. Stop. I'm just doing this. This is totally random movement. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in my life. I'm here to practice Voltron. Yeah, I, uh... Manshaw doesn't, really doesn't want to play Starfinder. I really don't want to play Starfinder. Hell yeah, that's what I'm looking for right there. That was almost really cool. But instead, I just literally reset myself. So there's a universe where I just skipped to this. It's almost impossible. I don't want to just, uh, I guess if this is my Voltron practice safe, might as well hit that. Okay, now before I go up there, I need to make a copy of this. Because once I beat Voltron, again, auto saves just kind of ruin everything. Make a copy of this so it doesn't auto save me. With Starfinder, Pathfinder, but a generic sci-fi setting instead of a generic fantasy setting. Okay. I know Birdless is a thing, but that's not why I'm here. How? What? What? <laughs> I shot that bomb out of my ass! No idea how I did that. 
downright impressive. I just pooped a bomb. Thank me. That bird's just down. That bird's just down there looking so fucking confused. I don't know what I just clicked on. I guess I can just kill myself, actually. Hey. Love me! There we go. What happened to the Bioshock ass combo you're working on? I just. I barely have time to set up an AP. I. I frantically set up Stray and Jayons. Like the two or three days ahead of each session. I don't know how on earth I'd have time to set up a home row. There we go. Pack. Pack! Okay, so the center camera actually does just point you right at Harriet. Because when you get knocked back, you're facing... You get knocked back directly away from the thing. But that puts you... I don't think... How's that better, though? That puts you directly in front of the, uh, the mask. And the mask is what fucks you. I don't, I don't know. The center and camera puts you right in front of the mask every time. I don't know how that makes my life better. Because the mask is where dreams go to die. Depends on where you are, I guess. See, it just it puts you in front of the mask. It's nearly impossible to get over a mask. The mask is humongous. Um, do you have a hitbox? Thank you. You can make a great game using an AP and just change what you dislike about it. I would like to think... I would like to think that's what I have done with Strange Aeons. I don't know that I like this centering the camera strat. I mean, I'm sure if I learned it, it'd be way more consistent. But it's just like, it puts you in the fucking the oh, I didn't wait. Good job, idiot. Alright, we're gonna learn bird list soon enough. We'll be a real boy. Heck. They dislike 5th edition because it has such a small amount of content. Oh, I just didn't predict the bird, I guess. Alright, I have a help, uh, handy dandy suicide post. He's not gonna... He doesn't actually have a hitbox, turns out. Joke's on you, idiot. Did you know the bird doesn't have a hitbox after you jump- or an enemy doesn't have a hitbox after you've cancelled controlling them? I just didn't check down the bird. Maybe I should just learn birdless now. I don't know. I'm as close to- yeah, I know they won't. I know. Trust me. I don't want to play Starfinder. Believe me, I don't want to play Starfinder. But that's largely just because I... I think sci-fi is just... Infant, get out of the fucking bird. What is wrong with me? 
Apparently I'm too retarded to press ZL, so maybe I really should just learn birdless. Because I, I can't just press ZL one time. My bird, no. The bird was gonna kill me. I have to wait for a bomb. But it really it just looks like Starfinder. I don't know. We got we got two people that are really, 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 really set on Starfinder. Maybe we I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't play Starfinder. Because we have two people that are really set on it and two people that really don't want to play it, so I guess it actually is kinda of dumb to play Starfinder, isn't it? Hey, I pressed ZL. I did it. I think I stopped the back guy first. I didn't hit my hat. I don't like... I've had a zero... I mean, I, I do this most... Most runs. I stay on him till at least the third bounce. But trying to do the center camera strat, I haven't done it once. The center camera's just fucking me. I don't, I'm not convinced this is better. The whole point of this isn't supposed... It's not that it's faster or anything. It's just supposed to be easier and more consistent. It would be different if this was faster. Faster is bird. Boop. Try in the back eye and see if that changes anything. I did I can't even consistently hit my hat doing this. I don't know what it is about saying the camera that makes my just my me not even be able to hat bounce. Hmm. Was crazy hack I didn't get the checkpoint. If you die a bunch of times on a boss, crazy hack I shows up to sell you the uh, thing that gives you six health. But I mean, I'm just killing myself to reset because it's faster than reloading. Just stop doing this and just go back to doing it the way I did it before. I'm sure if I learn this, it will be way more consistent. It's just. God, it's not working for me at all. Yeah, I think the back one means the mask is away from me. So we hit the back one first. Now we hit lurch second. It's gonna be spooky no matter what I do. It's a hard fucking trick. Uno, dos, tres, four in Spanish, go. I just, it's too many inputs. I'm retarded and I have shit fingers. And se like, this is already hard. And center camera, the center camera stretch is like, what if there was a whole nother input? What if you had an entire extra button you had to press while you were trying to do this? Does that help? Like, no, not really, no. I already had to press a whole bunch of buttons. Very precisely. I don't know if I want another entire button, actually. I think I was doing fine with my current amount of buttons. I've gotten this one in like 11 tries so far. 
Whereas I'm getting it three or four times doing it without centering camera. It's just, it's too many. I can't do that many inputs. It's too many inputs. I have shit fingers. I can't hit Z, L, and R, and forward, and Y, and then fucking Z, L, and Y again, and forward in the span of a quarter second. Like, I can't, I can't do all of those inputs. Just straw that broke the camel's back. R is just, it's just the one more input that's just too many fucking inputs. can hit it between his legs. I had no idea such failure was possible. Ten hours later. Let's go from Bowser and Peach to Voltron anyway. This is Bowser's castle. Why did I get off the board? What am I doing? Now I'm just losing my mind. This is gonna be the hard part, because it to get actually start getting good and not just not terrible. I'm gonna need practice. And when I practice the same jump more than 10 times in a row, I literally just. My brain deactivates completely. I'm just. My brain's turning off now. It's hard to focus on practicing for more than five minutes. That's why I dropped out of college. I feel like I could stop him right there before it starts spinning. If I was a crazy fuck. One, two, three, four, I see the merits of center camera. I see it. I see the upsides. It removes for the for the cost of an extra input and having to have literally every one of all four of your button pushing fingers going at the same time. In exchange for that, it removes the possibility, once you get used to it, of missing your hand because you didn't throw it exactly straight. And removing that possibility is gonna be pretty good. That's helpful. I wanna see if I can stomp on Lurch before it starts spinning. Cause that would save several seconds and the spooky blinking white part where it almost throws you off. Sucks your finger fingers is far out. I'm not any amount of far in. That's why I made a save, Robbie. That was why I made this so I can go back to the mill. Yeah, we're just training your fingers is hard to do. What's up, handsome ganker? I'm just trying to learn Voltron. Why wouldn't you just put me here? Why wouldn't you put me at the closer checkpoint? I grabbed this specifically so it would be up here already. So before I go in there, data management, delete to this, go. Save here. I get a copy so I don't lose my Voltron practice save. I need my Voltron practice save. Hello, Bowser. Okay. It didn't take me 10 minutes with the bombs this time, that's progress. Hi. That's the wrong one. 
need that much. Okay, so the plan... Put him at the wall. They have to fall off immediately. That's the plan. Yeah, I don't I don't think there's gonna be a safe and consistent way to hit the third one. Prior to him doing the five steps. Cause he doesn't really there's no really holding still portion. Kind of is, but not really. Cause he's jiggling and wiggling when he's not spinning. If you're a crazy motherfucker, I'm sure you can do it. I might as well learn the crazy motherfucker strats now because I mean we're speedrunning. Speedrunning is here to go full crazy motherfucker. How is it possible to shoot it between his legs when you can blow up both legs if you hit it in the middle? I mean, that's just the blast radius, not actually the size of the bomb. It's been an achievement to fucking 7 tenths of those bombs. Oh wait, I don't know. No achievements there. This is 2012. Wait, 2012 had achievements. This is 1994. Ah! So if you make it, if you make it all the way on top of the robot with, with the first bounce, you're in the clear for the second bounce. If you don't, you're not fucked, but the second bounce is going to be spooky. No, he's just so wiggly. No, there's, there's too much wiggly in there. I don't think that's happening. You gotta wait for the steps. Two, three, four, five. Okay. I do love how they just have a giant wooden robot. Like, clearly they possess metal. Half their robot is metal, and it launches giant cannonballs. Why'd they make the whole thing out of wood? Well, I guess if they didn't, when you shot the bombs at the legs, it would just actually blow the legs off and kill the thing. He would just win outright. Instead of just blasting armor off and having to do everything manual style. But does further raise the question of why can't you just hit the wooden parts with one bomb and just blow the entire robot to smithereens? The ran over budget. Yeah. Fair. The robot went over budget. Very much possible. It does seem like it'd be fairly expensive to make a gigantic fucking Voltron. <laughs> out of wood and metal. Although I feel like you should put the pilots in the robot and not just kind of stuck in tiny glass domes all around the robot, but again, you know, you do you. I here to tell you to live your life. Whoa. Crash doesn't understand either. Like, it's not a huge hassle, but just why didn't it just spawn me up there? Why I gotta fly? Got enough shit going on in my life, Nintendo. You know, I have this checkpoint. Just spawn me here. I always gotta remember to make the backup save. If I don't make the backup save, if I forget this one time, I lose my Voltron's test save, and I have to go get another Voltron practice save manually. They cut cost by not worrying over safety constraints. <laughs> Oh, fair. Also, what is it? If Bowser could just make Voltrons, why did he just lead with that? Surely this is better than him just throwing a hat with boxing gloves taped to it at you. If he has these kind of resources, I feel like he could accomplish way more than he does normally. We know he's got crazy airships and stuff. We've seen them too. I don't know why that blew up both legs that time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I don't think it matters, we got the side anyway. It only took the Dread Knights baby carriers to <laughs> Dread Knights. <sighs> Hello! Nope, fucked. 
So I'm still really, really bad at this. I'm still about one in four. How the fuck? I'm literally trying to get hit by you. You ever had an attack that was so worthless it didn't hit a guy actively trying to kill himself? Ah, hitbox is still there. Technically, you can pack a small child in the moon. That's not helpful. That's, that's not helpful. That's an entirely different situation. I wonder if I can save right there because there is a regular... Like, story checkpoint. Yeah. Oops. That's my name. You did. It wasn't you, though. I love that they're just constantly panicking while you're on top of the thing. Like, oh god! He got on top of the flat fucking roof! Who could have foreseen such tragedy? Maybe we should have made it harder to just stand on top of the robot, although, to be fair. This should be completely impossible. Like how much this thing flails around. There should be no universe in which you manage to stay on top of this thing. It's so hard to hit Arian. There we go. What's up, Swedish? How you doing? Uh, so we're not great at this. But we're okay at it. And I still, there's still an entirely second stage to learning this fight, which is birdless. Which saves you all the time it takes for you to get a bird and knock him over the first time. Because you just climb him like a crazy bastard while he's standing there. Which I think is definitely in the pile of things that sounds harder than it is because he doesn't walk at all in phase one. He just stands there and spits bombs and stuff. So it shouldn't really be that hard. And yes, I have to go through the collecting the moon thing to save. You can't save in the arena. You can't even load or anything. You can't access that menu. So I can't go from that menu to loading into another try without going through this to here. Squish, how many will join Pathfinder tonight? Whole team? No. In fact, we might not have it. We'll see. We've got uh, me, Lark, and Joe. We're going to be here for sure. Well, it's as sure as one can get with Larkin. And I, mean, I haven't heard anything negative from Shemu, so hopefully we'll have Shemu. Chaz a maybe. Uh, Chaz a solid hard maybe. And Zindern's a no. So we have no chance of full team. Decent chance of no Pathfinder. I'm going to try saving it right here and see if that just puts me right here. Not that I'm going to load this again. I'm going to do this just uh, one more time. One more. Let's first try this. Let's first try this a single time. If I first tried a single time, then at least I can say I've kind of fucking learned it. Just, oh, no. One first try idiot. Come on. Haven't I earned it at this point? Haven't I earned a first try idiot? Oh, that's bad. That was pretty way for a second, Mom. I feel like I learned the first try idiot. That was weird. Hello? I'm stuck in dark star matter from another dimension. Wow. It would have been funny that would have busted Harriet's bubble. Funny, but fucking awful. Aha!
I panicked. I panicked. The camera spun around and I freaked out. Instead of just, you know, pressing the center camera button because I'm still not used to it existing. Alright, so we're a solid, like, one in three at Voltron. Which is really, really, really bad. Really bad for how late in the run this is. Because if you fuck this up, you're resetting after, like, an entire hour. Which is just the worst conceivable thing. Because you lose so much time to falling off Voltron, I think that's pretty much just shut up and reset. I don't know how that happened. It's okay. Somehow. Not okay. It's okay. I, I should feel it. Easiest game of my life. I just wish this game was harder. He says shortly before the hard part. What's up, Nikobe? How you doing? Wait, five steps. No, I missed a step. Ah, I missed five steps. Okay, so, if you are on top of him in that last phase, the way he steps moves Harriet back and forth. It's just back and forth between two points. So, if I miss her and stomp jump off of that and then stomp straight back down again, that seems to be 100% consistent on hitting her. I mean, I still missed her, which sucks, but... It's like one and a half seconds lost to just go straight up and straight back down on Harriet. Cause she'd, he'll put her underneath me. Cause even though I'm on top of him, the AI of the robot is trying to step on me. So it's trying to put, go towards me. So I don't need to aim for Harriet. Harriet will in fact aim for me. Cause she's in the middle of the robot that's going towards me. That's knowledge. That's enough punch and Voltron in the nuts for right now. Why don't we instead... I was gonna practice men skip, but I didn't win a run. I kinda need a completed run to practice men skip. Let's go here then. I can't even practice Lunch Kingdom because I'd never actually completed a run. I just got destroyed. That's bad times ahead, friend. I can't do any of the stuff I wanted to do. Still just random explosions outside, and I'm still not really sure what that is. So of all the jumps that originally gave me trouble, I think I'm the best at this one now. Fucked it up. Never, never, just don't ever be happy. If you are ever happy or feel good about any amount of accomplishment or learning you've had in your life, life's just gonna chill. The secret to happiness is to just never allow yourself to be happy. And just tell yourself that neutral is happy. And then once you adapt to neutral, realistically being happy in a sea of constant letdown and depression, you'll always be happy. It's not about being happy. It's about redefining happy. Happy is impossible. Never, ever be happy. If you try to be happy, life will instantly fucking shit on you. It can smell it. It can just fucking smell it. You cannot allow yourself even a fleeting fucking moment of happiness or a sense of accomplishment or achievement. Or you will just immediately be sad. Not a fleeting fucking instant.
I guess I should just do the extra twirl. That's like a third of a second that it's safer. I guess we'll just do the extra twirl every time. Since you're right when I'm an asshole, also I'm smiling. No, seriously, just it's happiness is impossible. Happiness is an unattainable goal. Then comes time when you're able to reinforce that idea. Yep. Happiness is unattainable. I don't understand why, of all the things, I'm so bad at this. This isn't even hard. Like, this is just an easier version of the Lunch Kingdom drum. I don't, I don't understand why I'm so bad at this. It's literally a roll into a just triple jump. That's that's a ridiculously basic movement, and then a jump that's easier than Lunch Kingdom. And I just can't fucking do it. So I need to stop, like, three sidewalk tiles back from the street. Yeah, that's, that's approximately a yes. That's about correct. Practicing for speedrun? Yes. Yes, I am. Because we're going to play Pathfinder here in a couple minutes, hopefully. So I don't have time to actually do a run. So I'm just practicing some of my worst problem spots. Come out there. Nice job, idiot. Guess I could just cancel out of this, actually, because it puts me in the same place. Three tiles back from the sidewalk. I stop. Right there. And then you've got to jump and not just run randomly. Okay, stop shaking at the fence. I thought for sure that would hit the awning and actually work. Okay, so stop shaking at the start of the shrubberies. Yeah, and then if I know how to press buttons on a controller and not just, like, run, like, an airplane for 15 feet, then, yeah, that'll work fine. Hi, time on a cable. How you done? Oh, shit. Hold on. Let me, do, let me do a speed test. It's actually, like, shitting, shitting. BRB. BRB, BRB, BRB. 